FarmSim22 received a surprise update today, patch 1.9.1, which fixes some problems that players have reported since patch 1.9, and we have some new equipment added to the base game too. If you own pumps and hoses, that update is out too, but we're going to be talking about that later today. Check the description for that video once it's released. Don't forget, after game updates like this, the shader cache does need to be filled up again, and the best way to do that is to, well, fly around or drive around in first person, and you're going to need to do this in third person as well you may also need to do this on different maps depending on what different things are used so what do we have with this patch 1.9.1 well we've got obviously some new tractors and equipment we have some new additions for pc and mac as far as text and password input support goes and we got some bug fixes and changes firstly let's take a look at the new equipment we have the new massey ferguson 6s we also have the 7s which is really cool and we've got a couple new bailers if we go on down a little bit more we have the mfrp 4160b pro tech and we have a square baler as well plus we have fent versions of these too so let's just take a look at the tractors first with the 6s we start off with 135 horsepower variable transmission 280 liters of fuel 31 miles an hour and it weighs 7.6 tons engine options we have 135 we have 145 155 165 180 and back down one thing to note about this it is currently in small tractors I don't know what world that is, but hey, we'll move on. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Redstone, Nucky and Tires as well. And we have everything you would expect to see here. Standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wides with weights, rear twins, twins all the way around, and narrow interior setup we have exclusive and efficient this is also going to change up a few things on the outside as well so heads up there it's also 10 grand extra it's basically an all or nothing button design we have the anniversary edition if you want to go with that on the front front mounting speaking of that we have front three point nothing and we've also got 160 270 380 490 600 710 and 820 kilogram weight on the front Speaking of fronts, we've also got a front loader with Quickie, Hauer, or nothing, and we have a license plate. Next, we have the Massey Ferguson 7S, which completes the series of 5, 6, 7, and 8. We got 155 horsepower on here. It is a medium tractor, variable transmission, 305 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour. It weighs 7.7 .7 tons. Engine options, we have 155, 165, 180, 190, 210, and back down. So it goes all the way up to 210 horsepower if you need it to. Wheel options, we'll pretty much see the exact same thing here. Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Radistan, and Nokian tires. Setups, wheel weights, wide tires, wads with weights, rear twins, twins all the way around, narrow tires, and back in. Exclusive and efficient interior and exterior setups. So pretty much the exact same thing there design we have the anniversary edition or not front mounting we've got three point we've got a holder we have the 160 270 380 490 600 710 and 820 on there as well front loaders none quickie and hauer and of course we have our license plate real quick i do want to thank derp for mentioning that we've got designs for anniversary edition not only on the 5s but we also have it on the 8s as well if we jump down to design We've got that there. So, Mr. Derbledactyl James, thank you for that. In addition to those tractors, we also have four balers. Really, it's only two of them. We got a round bell and a square bell, available in Massey or Fent. Starting with the round bell in the Massey Ferguson, 4160V ProTech, 140 horsepower is required, 10 mile per hour max work and speed. And we've got flotation tires on there, which we can't change, and wraps and makes. 125 and 150 centimeter round bells, which is really, really cool. Wrapper design, we have standard, we have with a bell on end turner, or back to standard again. Uh, you want that bell on end turner, trust me. And then we have foil colors, black, white, pink, green, and blue. And the other Massey Baylor that we've got is the 2370 Ultra HD. This will make some big old square bells, 180, 220, and 240. So make all three sizes of square bells, 275 horsepower required, which ain't too bad for something like this, and 10 mile per hour max speed. Wheel options, we have Trelleborg, we also have Michelin, BKT, Radstein, and back in again, and unfortunately, no other changes can be made. As I mentioned, Fent received these as well, so if you guys prefer Fent over Massey Ferguson or whatever, you could choose those here and we have exactly the same customization options 
for both of these. Now, along with all this new stuff, we also have some bug fixes and changes, so let's talk about those. With patch 1.9.1, we have Mixer Wagon Info HUD works again. Fix the folding issues with cotton harvesters. This was a big one. Fixed issues with bale transport tools. Bales for missions can now be stored in the bale and pallet storage. Uh, driver 53, poor guy. He just made a video on that yesterday. Fixed automatic motor turn off with the John Deere CP690. Fixed functionality of plows to properly remove chopped straw from the ground. Again, another big problem with the last update. Also improves stability of physics joints. Proper hardware profile file mapping of Intel Arc GPUs if you're using those, if you're using AMD with they've updated to FSR 2.2, and if you're, you're like me and you're using NVIDIA, you can update to DLSS 3.1 as far as bug fixes and stability improvements, and I am actually running that now. It's running great. And screen space shading rate bug fixes and improvements. Now, we also have a new addition here. If you guys play on PC, they've added paste uh, control V support for text and password input fields. As far as your new vehicles, we've already talked about all of these. And as we mentioned before, uh, as with all major updates with Farm Sim, you may experience stuttering for the first game launch after the update when using mods or custom graphics settings due to shaders being recompiled. So that's everything that we've got for patch 1.9.1 of Farm Sim 22. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, drop a like on it and get subscribed. Hope you have a great day. See you guys later. Peace.